for the North East. Simon Logan through the afternoon. Hello. Now, it's not very often <clears throat> you speak to someone who's had the thumbs up from Sting. But Tom Bradley has. Tom is one of the people behind a new scheme to get music out and accessible to young people across the North East. Music Partnership North, it's called. It's made up of Newcastle College, the Sage Gateshead, and the Newcastle Northumberland Music Services. And what they've done is they've put together a charity song, which is brilliant. We're going to play it for you. I spoke to Tom and the music section manager, Lisa Murphy, recently to find out more about this. And this is what happened. We needed a song that sort of... From the minute the first note was played, said the sort of northeast, said about you know what we're proud of and, and what it means to sort of drive past the angel of the north and be coming back home. And actually, it was my youngest son Jacob who came up with lots of the ideas for the Hexham and the sea and all that kind of thing, all the things he loved about the northeast. So we put the track together and I managed to cajole my eldest son, uh, Josh, <laughs> and even my wife plays cello on the original demo. Well, so, the, the yeah. idea was that the, that the music hub itself we felt should have, if you like, its, its own anthem, its own song. And the task was to try and write something that reflected the North East, but also was appropriate for kids to want to sing along to a catchy melody, something that they could perform on together. So when we brought together the actual song and recorded it and we involved a number of different primary schools and there were 12 all together yeah. and got all the kids together in ensembles took out recording equipment from the college and uh, some of our students and staff as well to go out there and, and record these students from the schools on location and had them all perform the song and brought it back together in the studio and produced it back at the college and it's it's a massive big sound you know of all these kids singing along to this this anthem if you like for the northeast and something that celebrates them making music together and also the northumbrian ranters play on that as what, well what age are the kids then sort of like five six seven the kids that actually perform on this on the single are kind of year five and six primary school kids so that we what yeah, well, the, and the routers are a little bit older, you know, so yeah. we're capturing nearly all ages. And then from the point of view of um, the lead vocal was sung by one of our foundation degrees. Oh, this is Gabrielle, students. isn't it? Gabrielle, yes. Yeah, now tell me about Gabrielle, Gabrielle Irving. Irving. Yeah, uh, Gabrielle's one of our students who's studying for foundation degree in popular music at the college, and she's just got such a great voice. We thought she would work perfectly to complement the the kids on on the single itself because she brings across that kind of really nice yeah. uh, modern female vocal in there. And the kids behind it really fill out that sound, if you well, like. We went through quite a few singers looking for that sound, mm -hmm. yep, and absolutely. the minute we heard Gabrielle sing, it was just you know it all came together. And the end of the journey was obviously we got to go down to Abbey Road in London and get it produced by Jeff Pesh down in uh, down in London, and that was a dream come true. That's, That's right. right. And it's mm -hmm. border to the river, yeah. That's border right, to yeah. the river, yeah. Why border to the river? It was just a way of encompassing everything from the farthest regions, you know, in Northumberland all the way down to the river, and that's our patch. So off you go, and you get to go to Abbey Road Studios, and the song has been produced by a man who's been awarded a major award. It's all mixed at Abbey Road Studios. I mean, this is, this is fabulous, isn't it? Tell us about the experience. Oh, it was... I'm a lifelong Beatles fan from walking across that, that zebra crossing, which is a, a bit of a weird thing to start with. You know, uh, they've moved it, though, don't you? Yeah. Uh, which is slightly disappointing. Yeah, don't. The Abbey Road. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well, these people like taking pictures on the Abbey Road probably zebra crossing. Probably needed to for health and safety. Well, <laughs> it's into the it probably traffic. was something like that. The, the thing that got me was there's, there's sort of people camp out on either end of that zebra crossing, so nobody ever slows down at it. So if you get your, your photograph, you're literally <laughs> you sprinting. The Take the picture. <laughs> and, and me, me, me. Actually, they should just back. make like a whole road of zebra crossings, <laughs> and then you can just choose which just one you think is the real one. Number three is free. <laughs> <laughs> it's aha. Uh -huh. BBC Newcastle Radio for the North East. You're listening to Simon Logan through the afternoon. Hello. Talking about a charity single which has been put together. It's a song called Border to the River, Border to the River, features the voices and instruments of children from the North East. They all went to Abbey Road Studios. Wow. I spoke to two of the people involved in putting the song together, writer and composer Tom, and music section manager Lisa. 
and they told us more about this magnificent project. Tom and Brian Emerson, who's one of our lecturers at the college, who actually worked on the uh, recording and worked on the, the production. He was the producer. Yeah, the um, production was all them, yeah. So, and and he'd, he'd spent a long time, a really great job, and he went down to Abbey Road. I know he was just as excited as Tom to go down there and to meet with Jeff. And just to be in that environment, you have to stand there in, in the studio as well and know how many great bands have recorded there over the years and to get that that abbey road sort of sound to the record i mean from a music technology point of view or from a producer's point of view you can really hear it and it might sound kind of silly to somebody else but the sound and the feel of the record you can tell it's been through that gear it was run through one of the old emi desks that the beatles would have used so that alone was was enough for me mm-hmm. and then they look at the excitement on his face oh, as he says and, and we've then, gone through a beatles desk <laughs> and then they walked us down and, and showed us the room where sort of john williams did a lot of the Star Wars soundtracks. Yes, and, yeah. Oh, that was just, just luminary stuff. Yeah. yeah. And do, were the kids oblivious to all this, of course? Because do they know who the Beatles are? Well, it, one of the interesting things was we, we contacted uh, Sting, and he loved the project and he wanted to be involved. Unfortunately, he was on tour with Paul Simon and, and that kind He's of. He's always on tour oh, with Paul Simon. Simon. Yeah. <laughs> He's Pete, lucky man. Um, <laughs> so he put it out through his, his social network, and we got some like sixteen and a half thousand. Yeah, fantastic. Hits they really, in a yeah, they really hours. kind of. We got into a thing, obviously, with him being a big. North East artist, and he's from Wall's End himself, and said to me, you know, this is something we're doing with the music services, with students at the college and kids at the schools, and bringing music together and education together in the North East. You know, are you interested in supporting this? Do you want to find out more? And straight away he came back with, absolutely, I want to know more. I'd like to support this. Was it his people or was it actually him that came back to you? We spoke to his people, but it was very clear that they were going through to Sting himself to get actual quotes and to give us feedback. Actually, I got an, an email through a friend who used to work at the college, which is how I contacted him directly. It was... Did he sign it Sting or, or Gordon? <laughs> S. Yes, yes, yes. Very friendly. But but the interesting thing was, and why I brought it up is because you said about the Beatles, had they heard of the Beatles? Yes. And I was so excited that Sting's on board and all that. And I said to my children, you know, Sting's promoting this, and the face is just totally blank. Yeah, Yeah, Sting. Oh dear. So I've had to educate them in Sting. Daddy's called the police. (laughs) (laughs) but the the feedback then from people who obviously do know who Sting is and the older generations that would basically say well this is something we didn't know anything about and they've seen it on Sting's social media or he also wrote it up on his website as well and then it was great because it kind of heightened the awareness of the project of the music hub itself and of the single that we've recorded because people actually saw it who are fans of Sting so it's it's nice because that's our way of kind of reaching out to all different ages with with this well listen we're going to play the song in the next 20 minutes don't stop yet Uh, BBC Newcastle Radio for the North East I've got in front of me uh, a charity single which is a very special thing It's called Border to the River by the Northern Chorus. And the Northern Chorus features the voices and instruments of children from all over the North East. I can't mention every school involved because there's so many. But St. Bede's RC Primary School in Bedlington, St. George's RC Primary School in Newcastle, Throckley Primary School, Waverley Primary School, Central Walker Primary School, uh, the Northumbrian Ranters also involved, uh, Mile Castle Primary School, Hadrian Special School in Newcastle, to name just a few. So um, they've been down, to cut long story short, because we were talking about this before too, they've been down to London. They've been down to a studio, rather well-known recording studio, called Abbey Road, no less. Uh, Tom is behind the song. Uh, He actually wrote it. And uh, music section manager Lisa both came in. So um, just before we hear the song, why go all the way down to Abbey Road? You know, I mean, surely you could have done it a lot cheaper in uh, your garden shed with a laptop. Well, it, it's the mastering thing. Brian Emerson did all the production, and he actually played the guitar on the beginning bit, and it, the production was absolutely fantastic, as, as Jeff down in Abbey Road you know, said it, done it, it was, it was all there. It was just the icing on the cake. Wasn't yeah. it? it was just a thing, we've done this, we've got all these kids involved, this is going to be the anthem for the North East, hopefully, and music in schools. It's going to be something that's going to be around for a bit. Let's do it properly. And it was that, it was that kind Completely. of feel to things, yeah. yeah. And you can actually even do mastering by 
just emailing them to them and, and that kind of stuff now. But it was just that significance of going down. Well, Makes it an event, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely massive event for, yeah, for and it's children newsworthy. in the North yeah. And not forgetting that, that we've done this and, and we're releasing this as part of our uh, college record label. We run at Newcastle College. It's called Push Puzzle Records. And the record label is run by our HE students. And it's about the experience that for them as well. So the record label is, is a real working environment, it's a real work experience and the students who work on the record label take part in all the different roles from actually being involved in the recording and production themselves right across to PR and social media and uh, actually putting the record together and working with the distribution etc. So they take on roles across the record label and it's about their experience as well and them being part of something whereby we've recorded it, we've worked with so many schools, how we've promoted it, the fact that we've done this through Abbey Road and that they've been part of a real professional product. Will it be on iTunes? It will, yes. Yeah. So um, potentially you could get into the charts with this. Absolutely. If we got enough yeah, downloads, we could do. Get it downloaded. <laughs> it's actually come out on the 17th. That's when it'll be available for digital download. We've also got physical copies for sale. And the artwork for that was also designed by our Push Puzzle artwork Vinyl team. Vinyl or uh, CD? It's on CD. CD. Like You've got this. vinyls as well. We haven't, no, no we've we, done it we, at CD. Get some? Because we think that, you know, people also like to own a physical copy sure. of things. I think yeah, people I still do. It. Absolutely. Um, but the download's available from the 17th of March. We've got a big launch event on the 21st and 22nd at the college. On the 21st, we've got an event where we've got students coming from seven different primary schools. So we'll have something like about 200 students coming to the college on that day, amongst other things, doing workshops, etc. They're also going to be performing the single together. So there'll be 200 um, pupils from uh -huh. the primary schools across Newcastle and it's North pretty England. pretty good. Yeah, it'll be really, pretty really good. great. And behind that will be one of our student bands from the college and the lead vocal will be sang on the day by Gabrielle, who sang on the CD itself. So it's going to be a big event. And Tom, it's going to be played pre-match at a Newcastle game, isn't it? Yes, it is. Abbey Road, tune match. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, on the Saturday, the event's going on at college and then there's a Crystal Palace game. It was going to be played before the Everton game, but because they did so well in the cup, uh, that match got delayed. So everybody, I'm going to have to get out of the event. It'll actually, be on the 22nd together. of March yeah, that it'll be played before the, yeah. the match as well. So we're really excited. So listen out for that. Um, we're going to play it now. Thank you for coming on and best of luck with it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Hope to see you in the charts. Yes. I hope so. <laughs> you the voices and instruments of ch children right across from the northeast lots of schools getting involved all the proceeds for it will go to music partnership north which is all about promoting music with little little kids across the northeast 
like that a lot. It's Northern Chorus, look out for it, download it from the 17th. It's called Border to the River. Fantastic. And well done to everybody involved in that. BBC.